adventuring in a bat cave. Boy, do we smell like bat guano. Bat guano is bat poop. And bat guano smells big time. Hey, let's call Zabu. All right. Zabu! Zabu Bafu! Hey, Zabu! Hey, Zabu! He's here! Hey, Zabu! You must have smelled this all the way in the forest. You know Zabu. No chat until after he's had a snack. So what do you think's in the snack machine? Zabu! Banana! Come on! There you go. Mm, we all love bananas. Okay, one more little piece. There you go. Excuse me. Zabu Mufu! Mmm, I love bananas. You smell. You smell different. Well, not the same. Not like Chris, not like Martin. That's because we have the smell of guano on us. Guano? Guano? <laughs> What's guano? Poop. Poop. Hmm. Not all creatures like the smell of bat poop, but most creatures are really curious about how other creatures smell. I saw a creature in the forest. Smell, smell, sniff, sniff. That's what he did. Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? He's one big body And what a nose! <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see his nose to eat with. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a big, long-nosed creature. Do you know who he is? Long, snaky nose. Big, floppy ears. Big, round feet. Tiny eyes. Really, really heavy. Little tail. It's a baby elephant! Monga Zika! Mystery Animal's here! Wow! Hey. How you doing? A baby ethylant? Elephant, Zob! Elephant. Elephant. Hi, elephant! I think he's interested in our guano smell. <laughs> Maybe he followed our smell all the way to Animal Junction. Wow, look at these feet. See, these are the toes. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. These are the toenails. The bottom of an elephant's foot is like one big soft pad. This helps an elephant walk really quietly, even though he's so big. Manga Chica. Wow. Your hair is hard. Yeah, the hair that covers an elephant's body is hard and bristly, like a toothbrush. Ooh. 
but this <laughs> toothbrush is more his size. <laughs> Let's give him a good back scratch. Yes, yeah, scratch <laughs> is good, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna scratch right behind his ears. Hey, Chris, try that on me. Sure, Zob. Oh, that feels good. Oh, oh lower down my back. Oh, oh, oh. How's oh, that, Zob? Oh, yeah. Harder, 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 harder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. <laughs> you okay, Zob? Yeah. Come on, Zob. Huh? Let's keep brushing. <laughs> Underneath the belly. Oh. I can't cover that much elephant with this little toothbrush, so I have to do the detail work. How does that feel? Boy, hard with a small toothbrush. Hey, look at the elephant's tail. It's kind of like a toothbrush, too. See those bristles? <laughs> Back to scratching. There's a lot of elephant to cover. And he loves being scratched with a toothbrush. Hey, can I call you toothbrush? Toothbrush, that's a great name, Zob. A good toothbrush scratch for toothbrush. Yup, and we scratched him from top to bottom. An elephant has one of the most incredible noses. It's called a trunk. Trunk? A trunk? Huh, his trunk is longer than my whole body. And toothbrush can do incredible things with this nose. Can he blow a goobleberry off his nose? <laughs> toothbrush, what are you doing? Hey, he's smelling my shoes. An elephant uses his nose to help him talk. <laughs> Elephants make all kinds of sounds. When they're excited or surprised, they trumpet. Wow. No, 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 that tickles. <laughs> he can tickle with his nose, too. That's right, Sam. An elephant uses his nose to explore. Hey, what's he doing with harmonica? <gasps> Toothbrush, you're playing the harmonica. Harmonica? An elephant's nose is always up to something. What a nose, yeah. Look how the elephant can grab onto things with his trunk. <laughs> Just call me trunk fingers. <laughs> I wish my nose could grab onto things and reach out. It's like having an arm and a hand on your face. What a nose. Wow. <laughs> and look at the way he uses his nose as a straw. He sucks water up into his nose and then blows it out into his mouth. That's the way an elephant drinks, with his nose. A creature who drinks with his nose? I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, another amazing thing an elephant can do with his nose. Use it as a hose. Toothbrush gave you a shower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants spray themselves and each other to keep cool. Because nothing feels better than a cool shower on a hot African afternoon. Sabu, have a look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're supposed to kick it. He's trying to eat the soccer ball. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look at him kick that ball. <laughs> Let's play. Wow. Hey, he's really good at this. <laughs> Coming at ya. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who taught him to play soccer. Through the left. Whoa, nice there kick. Nice kick, toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks, toothbrush. Oh, whoa. That reminds me of something that happened in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Goobal and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? We're trying to play catch with the Goobleberry, but I can't throw, because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. 
<laughs> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, ready. Here we go. Oh. And I'm the lever oh, in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> ready. <Whoa>. Oh. <laughs> nice catch. Oh. It worked. <laughs> I can play. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. So we played Goobleberry Catch all day. And I was the lemur in the middle. <laughs> Here, catch. The end. <laughs> Chris, Martin, toothbrush is hungry. I want to eat those. <laughs> we have a lot better stuff. Come over here to the food machine. All right, so what do you want? Okay, you know, you don't want that. That's for a kawadi. This is for a porcupine. Let's see. Here, how about... I know we have stuff for elephants. Can you back up a little bit? Hey, right over here. Elephant stuff. Look, see that? There we go. Push it together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chris, it's on the fritz again. Uh-oh. Not again. I'll get the I'll tools. Be right back. Yeah. We'll fix it up to feed an elephant. Hold it, Martin. Look at that. Toothbrush has an idea. Your nose. Good idea, Toothbrush. Whoa. Look at that trunk go. <laughs> well, I guess he fixed it himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing thing about an elephant's nose. Hey, you know, this is too much work, though. We still got to fix this machine. Yeah. At this rate, he'll never fill his belly. And Toothbrush has a big belly. <laughs> because elephants need a lot of food. When an elephant's hungry and wants some leaves, she might push down the whole tree. Then her nose goes into action, packing in over 300 pounds of food in one day. Hang on there, Toothbrush. Yeah, we just have to fix this thing up to feed an elephant. We're ready. Let's give it a try. <laughs> now this is what an elephant needs. A lot of food. <laughs> he eats as much as a dinosaur. There you go. <laughs> Loves that apple. I'm already full, but he just keeps on eating. Let's watch this apple go from the elephant's trunk into his mouth. <laughs> I love the sounds the elephant makes when he eats. <laughs> You're the greatest toothbrush. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I'm feeling kind of elephantish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel elephantish. How about you? Elephantish. Ella, Ella, elephantish. <laughs> elephantish. <laughs> it tickles. I'm a long nosed noser, nosing all around. Elephantish. <laughs> Toothbrush is my elephant friend. Yeah, Zog. And the elephants say hello to their friends with their trunks. Wow! Toothbrush really likes Chris. Elephants are really social animals. That means they like to be together. They really don't like being on their own much. Elephants live together in groups, and a group of elephants is called a herd. Where's his family? Hope he's not lost. He must have wandered away from the herd when he followed his nose to Animal Junction. But the herd must be close by, because everybody in the herd looks after the baby elephants. Elephants are a lot like us. Like people. A young elephant stays with his mom for a long, long time. I think Toothbrush wants to go back to his herd soon. Hmm. What was that? What? Huh? Everybody, duck! 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 It's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> Manga Zika! Look at those wings! Woo! <laughs> wow! 
And look at that nose. A turkey vulture has the best sense of smell of any animal in the world. And look at this. You can see right through his nostril. Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Here it is. All right, let's see what she's up to. From Jackie. Hey, why don't you guys come over and help me mow the lawn? Just kidding. Hold it, a garter snake. I can't cut the grass. There's lots of creatures that share my backyard. Like the garter snake. And sometimes if you share your yard, you really have to share it. So I think I'll leave this part for my friends. Cause I could always cut the grass later. Hey there, Snooter. I'd rather play with Snooter than mow the lawn anyway, wouldn't you? And you know what? Dogs are great smellers. Great smellers. Jackie just gave me a great idea. But there's no grass to cut, Martin. Not that, Zob. I thought of a way that we could get Toothbrush back to the <sighs> elephant herd. That's right. All we have to do is call Myrtle. She's a bloodhound, and bloodhounds are one of the best smellers around. Yeah, and she can sniff her way all the way to Toothbrush's herd. Great idea. Let's call Myrtle. Let's do it. Myrtle! Come here, girl! Come Myrtle. on, Myrtle! Myrtle! Hey, guys! Myrtle! Uh oh I don't think they know Toothbrush is leaving. Here she comes. Hey, hey, Chris, Martin! Just a minute, Zabu. Oh. Hey, Myrtle, how you doing? Good to see you, Myrtle. Chris Martin, Myrtle's here, but Toothbrush is already gone. He's gone? He's gone. We better get to the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. A leash for Myrtle. Great. Martin. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to do what we got to do. Yikes! Oh! <laughs> Let's go find our elephant. Okay, Myrtle's gonna smell this harmonica because it has Toothbrush's scent on it. Remember, Toothbrush blew on the harmonica and left his scent. A scent is a smell. Myrtle is sniffing the harmonica and picking up the scent of Toothbrush. Now Myrtle can sniff her way to Toothbrush and we can make sure Toothbrush gets safely back to his herd. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Toothbrush must have passed by here. Hey Myrtle, take a sniff. She's got the scent, all right. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go see where Myrtle's nose is taking Chris, come on. It's an elephant track. We're right on our trail. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that bloodhound has a nose that never quits. Myrtle has the scent again. Let me take a look. Okay, but hold on tight. Oh. Oops. Look at that nose go. Wait up, Myrtle! <laughs> there she is! Hey. <laughs> <We found her. laughs> Why'd you finally stop? <laughs> <laughs> I know why she stopped. We found Toothbrush! And his whole family! But before we see them, we have somebody to take care of. How about some water before you head home? <laughs> there you go, Myrtle. There you go. Good job, Myrtle. Right. Bye, Myrtle! Happy sniffing! And now for the elephants. Look at those noses go. Let's watch and see how an elephant uses his nose in the wild. Right now, they're picking up nosefuls of grass. Elephants are super strong animals. Even their noses are strong. An elephant's nose can pick up a log. You really think she can pick that up? She did it! That is one strong nose. 
Let's see if we can pick up this log. Ready, Martin? Ready. Not only can an elephant's nose pick up big things, it can also pick up teeny tiny things. Like a leaf. Elephant noses can do almost anything. Hey, Martin, now that we have Toothbrush back to his family, let's follow our noses back to Animal Junction. All right, let's go. <laughs> what are you looking for? I mean, if you don't, Something's you going on in there. Do you want sure? to find out why? Okay, well, go ahead. Well, I'll just watch them. Hey, Kawadis! That's who you are. You never told me. You're Kawadis. Kawadis have one of the greatest sniffers in the creature world. Kawadi noses are great smellers. Those noses can smell food buried in the sand. <laughs> they stick their nose right in there. Is that why they have such long noses? Yeah, Zob, look how long they are. It's almost like they use it as a shovel. Yeah, look at that. And then once they find something, it's like they dig it up. Oh, what are they looking for over there? Talk about an animal that follows its nose. Hey, what are you looking for? What do you smell? Mungatsika. <laughs> <laughs> Food in sand, I want to dig. Go for it, Zom. Thanks. <laughs> Digging. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're great. Thanks. Oh, Martin's digging too. Whoa. This Kawadi found an egg. Oh, my eggs are great. <laughs> Look at him trying to hold on to the egg. <laughs> no, hold on. It's hard to get a good hold on an egg, <laughs> even with the Kawadi's sharp claws. Mangatsika! I can't believe my mind! Kawadis love to eat eggs. So, as soon as this guy can break it open, I'm sure he's gonna have a feast. Look, he did it! He broke the egg by ramming it into the post. Kawadis are pretty smart, too. That's some slimy stuff he's eating. What'd you guys find? This Kawadi's nose led him straight to an egg. Wow. Kawadi's love to chow down on eggs, especially turtle eggs. He just waits for the sea turtle to lay her eggs in the sand, and then the Kawadi gets down to business. He sniffs his way to the turtle eggs, and when he finds them, digs them up for a great supper. But eggs aren't the only thing a Kawadi eats. Every Kawadi loves a good coconut. Yeah, that's another neat thing about Kawadis. They eat just about anything. They're called omnivores. Omnivores means, well, when you're an animal, they, you eat anything. Even scorpions. And a Kawadi is so fast, she can catch a scorpion without getting stung on the nose. What a creature. What a nose. I had a friend who had a nose you wouldn't believe. In Zabu land. Wow! I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. And then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Try it again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, Hey, Narchi, why don't you use something else to push the zoot fruit? Well, I don't have anything else. I only have me. Why don't you use your sneezy nose to help you? Try walking backwards and pushing the zoot fruit with your behind. Oh, and don't forget to sneeze. Thanks, Zom. So Narchi's nose sneezed him up the hill. <laughs> what a nose. <laughs> I did it. I climbed the hill. <laughs> so me and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> noses are the greatest smellers, sniffers, and rollers. I love noses. Their noses want to take them home now. Bye, Kawadis. See you later, Kawadis. Bye.
Hey, Zap, hmm? you have fun today? Oh, yeah, especially when Toothbrush gave Chris a shower with his nose. <laughs> and when we found Toothbrush and his family. Yeah, that too, that too. And I love the part when we were sniffing around with the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his party behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. See you later, Zabu. Bye, Zab. Hey, let's go bike up a mountain. Great idea. Mountain biking. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Amanda, and this is my pet, Dove Mir. I have to pet him. Zabu, my food. With the Crack Brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play They followed their new bouncing friend Not knowing where this adventure would end The animals were headed just around the bend Where are they going? I don't know How did they get there? Come on, let's go! Me and you and Zabuma Boo Come along and see what's new We're doing the things that animals do New animal friends to see I spy. This is where I call it down for. Tell me about it. And you know, I'm glad we brought our rain gear. Hey, we're almost there. Animal Junction, straight ahead. Whoo, what a storm. Yeah. Hey, what storm? The sun's coming out again. The weather sure is changing today. Rainy one minute, sunny the next. Hey, I wonder if Zabu is a wet lemur or a dry lemur. Let's call him. Zabu-mafu! Hey, Zab, did you get wet in the rain? Hey, Zabu, are you wet or dry? Time for follow the lemur. Zabu, hang on a second. Zabu-mafu! That leaping lemur. Hey, Zab! We'll never get a straight answer, or an answer at all, until we give Zabu a snack. You know Zabu. Hey, Martin, can you give Zabu a snack? Come on in. Papaya! Papaya! There you go. Oh, yeah. Zabu loves this orange fruit. He loves to munch it. Okay, let's see. He's a dry lemur. Dry and wooky. You didn't get caught in all that rain? No, I didn't see any rain. But I did see a creature. Who could it be? Who could it be? What? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He ran on four legs with a long tail behind. He had a black nose and, wait a second, he was all black. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Mogotska. Mogotska. Animal. Oh, oh, and those eyes. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black spotted wildcat. Do you know who he is? All right, so he's black and fur. Big paws, big claws. Sounds like, feels like, 
a black jaguar cub. <laughs> a playful one, too. I got, I got mystery animals here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he really is playful. Monka, Zika. Wow, a black jaguar cub in Animal Junction. Now, these guys are really rare. Usually, jaguars have orange coats with black spots. That color and those spots help a jaguar blend into the forest so nobody sees him. But this is the rare black version. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> He's still a little wobbly on his feet, just like when you were a baby. Him. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he likes you, Chris. Now look, he found me. he's climbing. Black jaguars are great climbers. They're really good in the trees and in the water. He's wrestling my foot. He's trying to catch Chris's boot. Now imagine if Chris's foot was a big fish and this little guy was an adult jaguar. This would be a hunting scene from the rainforest. Yeah, he loves boots. I mean fish. I mean he loves pretending boots are fish. When he grows up, he'll have to catch prey like tapirs. Tapirs can hide from the predators in the water, but a jaguar can swim. And believe it or not, a jaguar's even tough enough to hunt crocodiles. He's practicing using his paws, claws, and jaws for when he gets older. Well, he can practice by hunting my tail. Come on, little guy. Now he looks really funny chewing on my leg, but when he gets older, it could really hurt. That's why you don't want a jaguar as a pet. Look at how those jaguar eyes focus in on that leaf. Eyesight is very important for jaguar hunting. Jaguars live in dark jungles and hunt at night like lions do. So night vision is incredibly important. It helps them see in the dark. While the adult lions are away hunting, the lion cubs stay behind in practice, just like the jaguar cub does. Maybe cub's hungry. Come on, let's check out a snack. All right, let's head to the snack machine. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa, storm clouds are rolling in. The weather's changing again. Oh. It's dark again. You think the jaguar can find his food in the dark? Let's find out. Oh, I think he sees it. Yep. He sees it. Oh, he Hooray, did it! He did it! Oh, he did it! Hooray. It's clearing up again. Huh, strange weather. Whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, now there are two jaguar cubs. Manga and Sika, they must be brothers like Chris and Martin. I can't believe my mind. They both found their snacks in the dark. Imagine if you could see in the dark like a jaguar. So if we want to see in the dark like a jaguar, let's build the eye spies. Great idea. Yeah, good idea. As soon as we finish these eye spies, we'll be able to see like any creature we want. <laughs> Time for another crowd invention. There. That should do it. Let's see if they work. Oh, guys, it's getting cloudy again. We're back in the dark. Wow, the weather is crazy today. Sure is. But it's a perfect time to test the eye spots. Yes, let's set them to Jaguar. 
perfect. You want to see? You have to take a look at this. It's really amazing. Now you're seeing like a jaguar. The jaguar can see so well in the dark that it looks almost light. Hey, da. Look, it's sunny again. Hey, guys, cups want to have fun. Hey, Mark, ah! give me your eye spy. I'll put these somewhere safe so we don't break them. You got me. OK, I give, I give, I give. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> nice pounds. Chris, over here. How about ya? Even though jaguars are great swimmers, when they're young, they still have to get used to the water and learn how to swim. Hey, Chris, Martin, where'd the other cub go? Oh, oh, there he is. Oops. Spice. They're chewing them up! Don't wreck the eye spies! No! Our eye spies! Now you guys are hunting our adventure gear? These are really messed up. Better check them out. Whoa! Oh, this looks crazy! Here, have a look. They're broken! See what I mean? Okay, back to the repairs. I'll have these fixed in no time. Okay, Martin. Chris and I will watch the cubs. I can't believe my mind. Cubs have spots. Dark spots on dark fur. A jaguar's spots help him hide in the jungle. Because part of being a good hunter is to see everyone else, but not let anyone see you. I hid like a jaguar once in Sabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sensei. Oh, oh, oh. He was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu. I really want to test my senses. My smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, Sensei. On. One, two, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree, and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sensei can see me here. Say Zabu! I can smell you, but I can't see you. Are you here? I'm over here. Oh, wow, what senses. My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking. <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me, Sabu with stripes. <laughs> Sensei thought my joke was so funny that he laughed for the rest of the day. <laughs> Way to tell him, Zab. Chris, uh-oh, storm's coming back. Well, now we can see in the dark because I fixed the eye spies. All right. Now we have jaguar eyes. Whoa, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a full grown black jaguar. Who probably wants to play with a full size basketball. Let's do it. Nice one, Chris. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Way to go, Martin. This ball looks pretty blurry to us, right? But a jaguar's eyes can see every bounce really clear. Woohoo! When a jaguar wants a ball, he gets it. Chris, I'm open! <laughs> Good one, Martin. I'm coming in! Everybody in the pool. <laughs> Come on in! The water's warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's so crowded for me. I'm out of here. Jaguars are great swimmers, and they have webbed feet. In the wild, this jaguar would be hunting crocodiles, fish, anacondas. Here in Animal Junction, basketballs. <laughs> <laughs>
You can only swim with the jaguar in Animal Junction. You know what? I'm feeling jaguarish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel jaguarish. How about you? Jaguarish. Yeah. Jaguarish. You cool. Jaguarish. Ha <laughs> I'm a wide-eyed jungle cat who loves to prowl and pounce. Jaguarish. Jaguars are amazing creatures in and out of the water. Yeah, and pretty soon those little guys will be great swimmers. There they go. Bye, Jaguars. Hey. Incoming! Duck! Duck! Hey, Martin, Chris. She's not a duck, she's a barn owl. Hiya, Moonface. And she brought us a message from Jackie. This was the Christmas tree we got last year. We got one with root, so I can plant it outside. It's spring, so the ground's soft enough to plant my tree. Okay, the tree's nice and straight. We're ready to go. This tree's for the birds. Really? They can get out of the rain or hide from cats in this tree. Since it's a Christmas tree, we made some decorations. Birds love apples, but squirrels do too, so you better have extra. Hey, Ripley! Don't worry, birds are always on the lookout. Wow, can those birds see? Hey, Chris, Martin, what other birds have amazing eyesight? There are so many birds with phenomenal eyes. And one with really amazing eyesight is the, the red-tailed red hawk. Bird eyes, yeah! <laughs> Let's go on a high-flying, hawksian adventure mm -hmm. to the closet. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> <laughs> Binoculars! Let's go! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what to store. Ice spice. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. I can't wait to see how a hawk sees. Look! A hawk! Oh yeah! Wow. I don't believe it! Look how high she flies! She's so high, I can hardly see her anymore. I wonder if she can see us. Chris, follow me and leave the backpacks here. Did Martin say leave the backpacks? Yeah, let's see if we can spot the backpacks like a hawk from way up there. How are we gonna do that? This is how in a hot air balloon from up here. A hawk can see things way down on the ground. Like a rabbit. Or a backpack. There they are, the backpacks. But you know, we're still not as high as a hawk can go. Yep, you're right, Martin. And speaking of hawks, look who's here. A red-tailed hawk. She's a beauty, isn't she? Look at those talons. Talons catch the prey. Then the strong beak, Tears the food apart. Check out those ridges above her eyes. Those help keep the sun out of her eyes. Kind of like sunglasses. The hawk's going higher. Let's follow her. All right, let's go. Now we're up with the hawk really high, as high as planes fly. Let's see if we can spot our backpacks from way up here. I don't see them anymore. You know, if we want to see like a hawk, 
We need eyes like a hawk. We need. You got it. The eye spy. spy. Just set it to hawk. Oh yeah. Wow. Are you ready to see like a hawk? All right. Now you're a hawk. What can you see? A rabbit. And our backpacks. Just where we left them. Way down there. We did it! We're hawks! We flew high in the sky and saw the world through a hawk's eyes. Let's get the balloon down and head back to Animal Junction. See ya! All right, how do we get the balloon down? Um, let's read the instructions. Where are the instructions? Uh-oh. We're in the backpack. That was great. Great! It's a good thing we ran out of hot air for the balloon. Yeah, otherwise we'd still be up there with the hawk. Who knows what'll happen next? Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu? Do you see Zabu anywhere? Zabu, where are you? I'm hiding from Chris and Martin with my new friend. Where could that leaping lemur be? So how does a black, white, and brown lemur hide here in Animal Junction? Yeah, he doesn't exactly blend in with the colors. He must be around here somewhere. <laughs> we know how to hide, yeah! <laughs> here, guys. Hell for Martin. Thanks, Ralph. Hell for Chris. Mud bath, mud bath. What a splash. <laughs> Good one, Zob. You got us. <laughs> yeah, me and my new friend, Shark. Shark? Yeah, I call her Shark because her head looks like a shark fin. Great name. But this is no shark. This is a chameleon. 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 I love chameleons. Oh, they're hiding out all over. They're everywhere. Come on, I'll show you. Over here, in the tree. I hope we can find them. Chameleons are great at camouflage. They can blend into any surroundings. Zabu's right. There are a lot of chameleons hiding in this tree. So, see how many chameleons you can find. Can you find any chameleons? There's one. There's two. There's three. Well, where did four go? There's four up there. Oh, yeah. Here's five. And don't forget shark. Number six. Six chameleons in a tree. <laughs> chameleons move very slowly. Moving slowly makes them even harder to spot when they're moving through the trees. You never know where chameleons will be hiding. Oh! Another chameleon. Oh. Is he looking at me? Or is he looking at you, Martin? Or you, Chris? He's looking at all of us, Sob. I can't believe my mind. Yeah, that's one of the amazing things about chameleons. One eye can look one way, the other eye can look the other way. A chameleon can look in all different directions, all at the same time. Wow. Hey, do you want to try to see the world like a chameleon? Yeah. All right, then it's time for the eye spy. Just set it to control. I can see two directions at once. Over here. Can you see me? Yeah, hi, Zob. Over here. Hi, Chris. Pretty great, huh? Hey, I like the way you see the world. Over here. Look who I found. Baby chameleons. They're pretty hard to see against the leaves. That's because they're small and, of course, camouflage. Hard to see? That reminds me of my story from Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 
when I heard someone say, zippity doo ha do Zabu. It sounded like my friend Bugly, but I couldn't see him anywhere. So I called out, hey, Bugly, where are you? Uh, right here. <laughs> oh, hi, Bugly. Well, then I heard a loud noise in the ground shook. Zaboomafuasaurus was coming. So I jumped into the tree to get out of the way. But Bugly stayed on the ground, and Zaboomafuasaurus didn't see him. Uh, help, help me! Help oh, me! Stop, I said. Zaboomafuasaurus, look down at your foot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bugly. I didn't see you there. Well, that's all right. Thanks for saving me, Zabu. Hey, you want to buzz around with me? I'll take you for a ride. Oh, Bugly, you're so little. I'm too big to ride on you. Well, I'm stronger than I look. I'm a superstar. <laughs> Should I do anything? Just hang on tight and buzz. So I did. <laughs> so we went buzzing around yeah. Zabumafuasaurus, and we all laughed and had fun. <laughs> the end. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I had so much fun today, I can't believe my mind. What was your favorite part, Zab? Playing with the jaguar kittens, they're so, so bungatsika. Yeah, and I loved it when we were up in the hot air balloon, seeing the world through the eyes of a hawk. I like seeing those chameleons. Can you believe those googly eyes? This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. Have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Bye, Tris! Bye, Martin! I'm going home. See you, Zabu! Bye, buddy! Whoa! A bald eagle! Well, let's take a closer look! Where's the binoculars? Hey! Hi, little snowball. Hey! Oh, I'm Hayden, hey, this is Snow me. Revan named Snowball. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabu. Ah. Ooh, just a little further. I thought we'd never make it. We made it! These bats are full of building material because Chris had a great idea. Today, we're gonna build something special right here in Animal Junction. We're building a dinosaur. You wanna help? Great! But first, let's call Zabu. Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey, hey, Zabu! So, what kind of animals did you see out there today? Hey, Zabu! Whoa, he almost caught that bug. Well, you know Zabu. First he eats, then he talks. <laughs> hey, Zabu. Now, what am I gonna get, Zabu? I know. But for you and Zabu, it's gonna be a surprise. Woohoo! Zabu! Banana! There you go. Mm, we all love bananas. Okay, one more little piece. There you go. Excuse me. I love bananas! <laughs> hey, what's this? It's something giant. 
Or actually, maybe it's a whole bunch of little things. This bag is full of little things mm -hmm. that we're gonna put together and make into a big thing. We're building <laughs> a dinosaur. A dinosaur, a dinosaur! <laughs> What's a dinosaur? A dinosaur is a creature that lived millions of years ago. And no one's ever seen a real live dinosaur before. But I saw one. I saw one today. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> okay, she looked like a head and a tail. But wait a second. She had legs on that tail, so it was more like she had a long body with short legs. Does that help you know who she is? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Pongatsuka. Pongatsuka. Animal. Oh, yeah. She had sharp teeth. Yeah, sharp. Sharp like her claws. Does that make her a dinosaur? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess? talking about, Zabu? Dinosaurs are extinct. Extinct? <laughs> no. <laughs> extinct. That means that dinosaurs aren't around anymore. So you couldn't have possibly seen a dinosaur coming here. Hmm. Or could you? Hmm. Zika, Mystery Animals here! <gasps> a dinosaur! A monitor lizard? Wow. Now that is one big lizard. But it's a lizard, not a dinosaur. A monitor lizard, Zob. Oh, hello, monster lizard. Monitor lizard. Monitor lizard. I like monitor lizard's body. Look, look how long and snaky it is. Manga Zika. Her legs are so short. But they're strong. Those legs help her dig, because she lives underground. Are you sure she's not a baby dinosaur? Yeah. She's not a dinosaur. She's a lizard. Although she does look a lot like a dinosaur. Yeah, she reminds me of one of the dinosaurs that walked on four legs. Like Brontosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Brontosaurus? Brontosaurus was a very peaceful dinosaur. And big! She was as tall as three houses. And she chowed on plants all day. Hey, let's start building our dinosaur. One that looks like Brontosaurus. Okay, one dinosaur coming up. All right, let's put these bones together. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice fit. Woo! Yeah. There, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vertebrae go up here. All right, this is one long neck. Chris, we're gonna have to caulk these. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we'll caulk. Now that is one good looking dinosaur. Yep, we Krat brothers build them to last. Let's build it again. All right. Oh, rebuild, rebuild. Rebuild. Yeah. Oh, oh, they did, oh, it. They they did, did it. They did it. Hey, guys, Monitor Lizard is sticking her tongue out at me. <laughs> yeah, she sticks her tongue out when she's looking for food. She can see with her tongue? No, she doesn't see with her tongue, Zob. Like us, a monitor lizard tastes with her tongue. Except, a monitor lizard can taste the air! Wow, that's how she finds her food. Kind of like when you smell the air when you're looking for chocolate cake. Now I think it's here. It smells like chocolate cake! <laughs> I've got an idea. I'm gonna build my own dinosaur. Building a dinosaur, building a dinosaur, building a dinosaur, building a dinosaur, building a dinosaur! <laughs> I'll 
then. I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And all of a sudden, whoa, the ground shook. So I jumped up into a tree to see what was going on. <gasps> it was the Boomafuasaurus. She said, Hi, Zabu. Do you want to play with me? He. And I said, sure, and left onto her nose. She got so excited, yeah, she threw me into the air. <laughs> and I slid all the way down her back. We had so much fun, we did it again and again. And we played dinosaur slime all day long. <laughs> the end. Monitor lizards have incredibly sharp teeth. That helps a monitor lizard eat her main meal, meat. And having those teeth really helps when other monitor lizards want that meat too. Manga Zika, I bet dinosaurs had sharp teeth too. Tyrannosaurus Rex had really sharp teeth. That's because she was a meat eater. If Tyrannosaurus Rex were in Animal Junction, her head would be sticking out the roof. Up where Zabu is. She was one tall dinosaur. And her huge teeth and jaws made her one of the most powerful dinosaurs of all. Hey, our dinosaur needs teeth. Let's give her teeth like T-Rex. All set, Chris. Here come the teeth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look out for the dinosaur! Whoa, whoa. Like we'll have to rebuild it. Or rebuild. Or rebuild. Or rebuild. Rebuild. I think they like to rebuild it more than anything. <laughs> All right, we built it again. Oh, oh, they did, it. They they did, did it. it, Chris Martin. Now you'll need these teeth. Yeah, you're right. Heads up, Martin. Coming at you. All right, the last two. Got it. Here you go. All right. Wow. Hey, Martin. Zabu. Look at this guy. A tortoise just stopped by. Oh. He's hard. His hard shell keeps him from getting hurt. Hey, my armor's like a hard shell, too! Ha! Nothing can get me now! <laughs> Except maybe a monkey. <laughs> Just because you have armor doesn't mean you're totally safe. I hope your armor's not too heavy for you. Yeah, Zob, a turtle shell is pretty heavy. But when a crocodile has her eye on you, a shell is a good thing to have. And for a little extra protection, it never hurts to head for the water. She's safe for now. This tortoise reminds me of a dinosaur that had lots of armor, Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus? Yup, she was the most heavily armored of all the dinosaurs. More than even you, Martin? <laughs> yeah. Ankylosaurus had the best protection going. Spikes. I love them. They better not forget about Triceratops. How about Triceratops? He had three big horns on his face and a huge head shield for protection. Let's put more stuff on the dinosaur. To the dinosaur! A tail like Ankylosaurus. <laughs> I know why it's called Ankylosaurus. Why, Zop? Because your ankle would be sore if he hit you with his tail. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Perfect! This is shaping up to be one cool dinosaur. Yeah. Martin, Chris, is this a dinosaur? He's an iguana, mm -hmm. and a pretty big one. Iguanas are great tree climbers. <laughs> like me. See his sharp claws? Those claws dig into the bark when he climbs trees, which is a good place to be when a couple of bigger iguanas are fighting down below. I like his sharp claws on his back. I like them too, Zob, but they're not really claws. These are spines. Spines? Wow. 
This iguana reminds me of a dinosaur. Stegosaurus. That's right. Stegosaurus had huge plates on her back, and that sure helped protect her from enemies. When dinosaurs were alive, people weren't around then. Not even cavemen. That's caveman for, look, a duck. Ducks and geese have amazing bills with sharp edges for grinding up water plants. And you know, there was a dinosaur with a bill a lot like a duck. Oh, and was probably called the duck-billed dinosaur. You got it, buddy. And even though duck-billed dinosaurs had bills like ducks, they had something more. Hundreds of teeth for chewing up all the plants they ate. You know, I think my brother is taking this caveman thing a little too far. <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, let's put a duck bill on our dinosaur. Yeah, and plates on his back, like Stegosaurus. All right. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> careful, Martin. Hang on. <laughs> the duck bill. And backwards. Yeah, you got a lower bill. Ah, awesome. Hey, thanks, Zob. Hey, you're welcome. The final step. <laughs> Putting on the skin. Yeah, but what color were dinosaurs? They could have been as bright as a chameleon. Well, ours will. Chrysosaurus! Yeah! <laughs> One cool dinosaur. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel dinosaurish. How about you? Dinosaurish. Dino, dino, dinosaurish. Dinosaurish. I'm a ground shaking giant. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurish. <sighs> Dinosaurs are great. How come they're not around anymore? They're extinct, Zob. Dinosaurs died out millions of years ago. Before people. I wish I could have seen one. But you know what? What? <laughs> My friend Duck is still around. And Tortoise is still around. And Iguana's still around. And Monitor Lizard is still around. But he's going. Bye, Monitor Lizard. See ya. Incoming. Duck! <laughs> but she's not a duck. She's not? She's a lantern falcon. You know, birds were around when dinosaurs were around. Oh, bird, you seen dinosaurs? Not this falcon, Zabu, but other birds were around during the time of the dinosaur. Hey, she brought a message from Jackie. Hi, it's me. We're looking at insects. Whatever's inside the hula hoop tells us what lives in the neighborhood. We look on leaves, flowers, in the air, and in the soil. Hey, look what I just found. It's an owl pellet. After an owl eats a mouse, she spits up all the fur and bones. It might look gross, but it's normal for an owl. And look, if you break it open, you can find bones. This is the bone from the mouse that the owl ate. Hey, I think I'll go to the Royal Ontario Museum to see more bones. That's a great idea. Let's go search for dinosaur bones. Do you want to help us find dinosaur bones? Let's do it! To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Wait a minute. Whose turn is it to open the closet? I don't remember. Let's flip for it. Great idea. Oh, I win. <sighs> They're going on a cool adventure. 
adventure <laughs> and they don't know what's in store. I have what we need to go digging for dinosaurs. All right. Happy digging, guys. Yeah, see they're you, They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. All set, Martin? All set! Now it's time to travel like the birds. Let's fly. Wow. This looks like a great area to find dinosaur fossils. Why don't we start digging down there? Going down! Woohoo! Imagine this place full of dinosaurs. That's what it was like millions of years ago. It looked pretty different back then than it does today. It must have been amazing. And I bet the ground shook. Sadly, all of the dinosaurs are dead, so we're looking for dinosaur fossils. Fossils are the remains of creatures that used to be alive, as alive as the animals around today. Martin, could this be a fossil? Let's dig here. Did you know that most dinosaur bones haven't been found by dinosaur scientists, but by adventurers like us? And lots of dinosaur fossils have been found by kids like you. How are you dinosaur diggers doing over there? Good. Good. All right. So what's your favorite dinosaur? A raptor. Great! Oh my god. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <gasps> this could be from a dinosaur. This must be from a dinosaur. You know what I think it is? I think that this is a dinosaur tooth. Wow. It's huge. It's as long as a steak knife. Let's take this to the museum and see which dinosaur this tooth belongs to. Fossils are very rare and very easily broken, so we have to be very careful with it and wrap it up. Great. Okay. You want to hold it on the ground? Stop. Okay. Hey, guys! Jackie, how you doing? Look at this. We found a dinosaur fossil. It's a tooth. Wow, I can't believe it. The question is, whose tooth is it? Let's find out. Yeah. Ah, maybe this guy. Brown T-Rex. A little to the right, oh, Not that much. <laughs> Mistake. Okay. It matches. We found a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth. That's right. Jackie, it fits! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we better get back to Animal Junction. Something's going on in there. Yeah, they just Do you want to find out what? You know, when they go out in the water? Say, do you want to your neck like that? <laughs> Sabu, it's an emu. An emu what? An emu. E M U. Emu. Emu. He's a beautiful emu. Yeah, emus remind me of long necked dinosaurs. He looks like a brontosaurus with his long neck. <laughs> Whoa. He likes the brontosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this. An emu has teeny tiny little wings with a claw on the end. See it? He has an amazing beak. Yeah. Look at the nostrils in his beak. Huh. And you know, some scientists think that birds are actually living dinosaurs. How can a bird be a dinosaur? Well, Zob, for one thing, some bird bones are shaped like dinosaur bone fossils. And you know what else? Baby dinosaurs hatch from eggs just like birds do. This is a dinosaur egg. Whoa! Don't move it for the eighth! I'll get it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, nice catch, Chris! Oh. 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 
much fun. <laughs> Look, Martin, it didn't break. I can't believe my mind. Dinosaurs must be amazing if they have eggs that don't break. Yeah, this is a fossil dinosaur egg. Angatsika, oh, that's what a real dinosaur egg looks like? Yup, a little baby dinosaur would have hatched out of that egg. Hey, that reminds me. Look at this. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, I'm helping to hatch, and I'm sitting on these huge eggs. Hmm. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. emu eggs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm keeping them warm, 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 so they'll hatch, hatch, hatch. Mm. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> they're hatching. Look at the way the beak cracks through the egg. Then the whole chick pops out. Wow. Way to go, emus. <laughs> they did it. Yeah. They hatched, just like one of my friends in Zabu land. So I was leap, leap, leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg. And it cracked. Oh, my mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabu land tree sap. So I got some. Oh, it's very gooey. <laughs> and I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and oh, cracking and cracking and cracking and whoa! <laughs> oh, As baby Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> mommy? <laughs> me? I'm not your mommy. Oh, you help me find my mommy? <laughs> so I said, sure. And we went to find his mommy. On the way, baby Zabumafuasaurus kept saying, oh, Where is she? Where's my mommy? <laughs> Until suddenly, oof! I hit a huge leg. Here's your mom. <laughs> Baby. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. <laughs> the end. That's a Pumafusaurus with one giant dinosaur. And Emu is one giant bird. One of the biggest birds in the world. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Martin, where's the fossil gear? In the backpack's ready to go. Great. Let's go see if we can discover a new species of dinosaur. Hey, Chris, and we can call it Martin and Chrysosaurus. My name is William. This is my pet fish, Sam. Hi, Sam. Say hello to everyone. It's a While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuna Boo. Come along and see what's new. to see animal junk is the place to be Corn snake. Wow, where are you going? Hey, Martin, I just saw a really cool snake. Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'll get you out. Pull harder, Martin. I'm pulling. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> now that's teamwork. But where's Abu? We can call him with this horn. 
See, you talk through this little hole. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. And when it comes out this end, it's louder and deeper. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Zabu will hear this wherever he is. Zabu, Zabu! 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 Hey, Zabu's here! Zabulafu! That leaping lemur. <laughs> He's got my nose. <laughs> How do you hold on to things with your feet? Zabu? Of course, it's snack time before talk time. Let's see what we have for Zabu today. Apples! Zabu's gonna love these. Come on, Zabu, we have apples today. Yeah. Give me some of the I can't believe my mind! Breathe, Zob, huh? breathe. <sighs> Who'd you see, Zob? I saw the furriest little creature. She can run and she can climb. She can jump and she can even fly. A furry flyer. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She was furry, 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 and hungry. I heard her tummy rumble, then she started jumping all over. She was looking for nuts. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. She ate those nuts, but she really liked them. And then, then, then her arms turned into wings. A bushy tailed furry flyer. Do you know who she is? Furry, furry, furry with a bushy, bushy tail. Uh -huh. Four legs that turn into wings. Uh -huh. I know who it is. A flying squirrel. Mangatika, the mystery animal is here. <laughs> wow, what an entrance. Let's see that again. I think she thinks I'm a tree. <laughs> Whoa, moving fast. Oh, he's in your pocket. Have you ever had a flying squirrel in your pocket? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> oh, he's up again. <laughs> <laughs> flying squirrel on the head. Shoulder. Oh. Chris? <laughs> Chris and Martin are nutty. No wonder the squirrel likes them. <laughs> Flying squirrels love to get into cozy places where they can curl up and feel really comfortable and safe. Stop, you're not gonna believe this. <gasps> the animal you saw is a flying squirrel. Hello, flying squirrel. Oh, I love your big round eyes. Those help her see at night. Yeah, a flying squirrel is up all night. But she doesn't need a flashlight to find her way around. She can see in the dark. She spots a branch, leaps, hey, and she lands right where she wanted to. Flying squirrel eyes are incredible eyes. I've never felt such soft fur before. Go ahead, feel it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I'm gonna be very gentle because she's small and I, I don't want to hurt her. Great idea. Well, I got that from you guys. <laughs> Oh, wow, we've got twin fur. <laughs> yeah, you and the flying squirrel both have soft fur. Yeah, but well, her fur, it's got extra. It's way too big. Extra? That's the way it's supposed to be. Hmm? A flying squirrel has loose skin between her arms, and that's the secret to her being able to fly. Watch this. Hmm? When a flying squirrel jumps, her body makes a jumping jack shape. Her skin stretches out, kind of like wings, like this! Well, that helps her fly like a bird, right? Well, not really, Zob. 
because she doesn't flap like a bird does. A flying squirrel glides! Oh. A bird flaps and a, a squirrel glides. Oh, well, the bird's flapping away. I guess you could say that. Right, Martin? Martin? Chris, Sabu, up here! I'm gliding like a flying squirrel! It's Martin! What's he doing? Here, you can get a closer look with the binoculars. He's hang gliding. Hey, no wonder flying squirrels like gliding so much. This is amazing! Uh-oh. Oh. Where'd Martin go? There he is. Hmm? <laughs> I feel a crash! Hey, Martin! Look out! Oh. I'm going down! Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. That's a big drop. That was fun. But I think you have to be a flying squirrel to make a perfect landing. When a flying squirrel glides, she steers with her legs and bushy tail. And she can glide far, 80 yards. That's like gliding over four houses. Wow, I can jump far, but not that far. I love flying squirrels. Hey guys, the flying squirrel is on the move. Whoops, she's gone. She went to take a look inside the hole. Flying squirrels love holes. Why? Because that's where a flying squirrel lives. Oh. And you'll never guess how a flying squirrel gets a hole. Listen to this. I was hiking in the woods and saw a woodpecker tapping out a hole in the tree. When he was finished, he flew away. That night, I took a better look at the woodpecker's hole. And that's when I saw her. A flying squirrel landed on the tree and went straight to the woodpecker hole. She checked it out for a while and then made herself nice and cozy in her new home. Wow, does she live in there now? Hmm, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's watch. When you're watching animals that live in holes, like flying squirrels, rabbits, or mice, you have to sit quietly and watch until the animal pops out. Did you hear that? Oh, I heard it. Oh, I heard it. That's our squirrel. <gasps> Sounds like it's coming from over there. Hmm? Maybe she's in this hole. Then let's watch this one. Listen, that sound again. Behind us. Rats. Don't worry, Zob. We'll find him. No, 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 no. Over there. Rats. Oh, those kind of rats. Where is our squirrel? Hey, I've got it. Let's all watch different holes. That way, we'll be sure to see the flying squirrel when she pops out. Good idea. I'll watch this hole. I'll watch this hole. And I'll watch this hole. I think I hear the flying squirrel. Me too. Me three. There you are. <gasps> I guess you didn't like any of those holes. Hey guys, let's help her find a hole she likes. Yeah, eight eyes are better than two. You could travel right in here. Well, she likes your pocket. Yeah, <laughs> she loves it. All right, let's go. She can't live here. That's because oh, somebody's already living here. This hole is already <laughs> occupied by a porcupine. Porcupines are really messy. They leave twigs, branches, quills, and even poop laying all over their homes. 
I don't think you want to live here. Besides, porcupines are very prickly. Okay, so let's keep those big eyes peeled, flying squirrel. Hmm, she can't live here either. Someone else is living here, a corn snake. Corn snakes don't dig their own holes. They find a hole in a rock, tree, or other cozy spot. I knew somebody who was looking for a hole in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, when I bumped into Nogginjil. <laughs> I said, hello, Nogginjil. Ow! Nogginjil said, Oh, Zabu, have you seen any holes that I can live in? Hmm, well, there's a hole. Maybe you can live there. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this hole's already taken, Zabu. Wiggy Waxwing lives here. Every hole I find already has someone living in it. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, and then, um, uh, I can't remember the rest. Chris, remember all those creatures in Africa? You wouldn't believe how many creatures live in holes over there. Like warthogs. And don't forget insects, like termites. Oh yeah, and how about the hyenas? And meerkats. <sighs> this looks like the perfect hole, actually. But this is my cubby hole. And besides, it's way too big for a flying squirrel. And too messy. Martin is almost like a porcupine. Wait a second. My pocket's empty. Hmm? The flying squirrel's gone. Oh, yeah, I found her! Well, where is she? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys! I think the flying squirrel has found a hole she really likes. There she is! She's gonna make this hole her home. She likes it best, and I think she's right. You know what? I'm feeling flying squirrelish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel flying squirrelish. How about you? Squirrelish? Flying squirrelish. Squirrelish. Flying through the trees, a flying squirrel, that's me. Uh, flying squirrelish. Uh, great glide, Zabu. Zabu? I'm not Zabu, I'm a glider. Speaking oh. of gliders, where'd the flying squirrel glide off to? She's probably taking a nap. She must be tired after all that gliding. Oh, I am. <laughs> Every glider deserves a nap. Incoming! Duck! She's not a duck, she's an owl. Hey, Moonface, did you fly good today? Oh, open it, open it. I bet it's from Jackie. Let's check it out. Cut this dead tree down. It's a creature home. An owl lives in this dead tree. She sleeps in it during the day, and at night, she sits in it to look for her prey. Squirrels love dead trees, too. Dead trees have nice, cozy holes in them for squirrels to live in. The squirrels stay warm in that hole all winter and dry in the spring when it rains. A dead tree is a great place for a mother raccoon to have her babies. And when those babies grow up, they'll find a dead tree of their own to live in. Skunks make their dens under old dead trees. Dead trees are good trees, and we need to keep them standing because so many creatures depend on them. Holes are great. Holes are everywhere. Hey, Chris, I've got an idea. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out a creature that digs millions of holes mm -hmm. and makes the biggest underground home in the creature world. It's time for the trip. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. Hey, do you hear that? A horse! Hey, you want to come too? 
<laughs> oh, hi, horsey. Let's ride. <laughs> Ooh, except there's only one horse. Oh. oh, that's okay. I'll walk. And I bet I'll beat you too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Martin, you can't beat Chris on a horse. Martin is so silly. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Wonder who'll get there first. Chris? We're Martin. Chris. Martin. Chris. No, no, Martin. I'm Chris. Martin. It's a badger. I love badgers. Hey, there's your baby. Amazing. You know, even though they're such great diggers, badgers don't build the biggest underground homes. We'd better hurry if we're gonna be Martin. I don't believe it. Martin beat me. Hey, Chris, what took you so long? I saw a badger. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the Prairie Dog Town, the place we've come to see. This may not look like a town, but that's because people don't live here. Prairie dogs do. See all these holes? Each hole has prairie dogs living inside. Hey, let's go see if anybody's home. There are hundreds of holes. Hello? You see anybody down there? This hole's empty. Hey, let's try over there. Hello? Anybody home? Nothing. Let's try another hole. Good idea, how about that one? Hello? Hello? Any prairie dogs down there? I guess not. Where is everybody? I really wanted to see some prairie dogs, but where are they? Is this town deserted? I don't think any prairie dogs live here. Uh, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> prairie dogs, they're everywhere. Another great rodent that lives in woods. They were home the whole time. Of course, they were underground in their homes. It might seem strange that these animals are called prairie dogs. They don't look like dogs at all. But they're called prairie dogs because of the sound they make when danger is near. It sounds kind of like a dog yapping. Hear that? That's a prairie dog. He's letting all the other prairie dogs know there's danger around. Look, it's a red-tailed hawk. Uh-oh, they eat prairie dogs. Everyone to their holes. That's a safe place. There goes the hawk. Hey, now he's doing the jump you've called. That means it's safe to come out. Isn't it great how prairie dogs work together as a team? They really look out for each other. And of all the towns I know, this prairie dog town is probably one of the best towns to live in. Why not? Let's dig our own hole. We brought the shovel. And let's put our hole right here. Perfect. <laughs> This is the life. Prairie dog towns are great. And did you know the biggest prairie dog town ever had over 400 million prairie dogs living in? That's about as many prairie dogs as there are hairs on your head. <laughs> so we found the biggest underground home of all, a prairie dog town. But now it's time to head on back to Animal Junction. See you later, prairie dogs. Take care of our hole for us. We'll be back. Hey. I wonder who made this hole. This is nice work. Uh. Hey, and you know who dug this hole? That's That too? A red fox. Me too. I'm helping. Oh. <laughs> 
digging is fun. I feel like a fox. I'm feeling foxish. <laughs> Hey, Zob, you're digging as fast as the fox. Whoa, look at that fox room. Just like me. He's tired. How do you know, Zob? He's been digging holes like crazy the whole time. He dug holes here. And here. And here. Why so many ho whoa, whoa, whoa. holes? When a fox makes a den. What's a den? A den is a fox's home. So, when a fox makes a den. Home. She digs lots of holes, so she has different ways to come and go. It's kind of like having a lot of front doors and back doors. <laughs> and the den is where the fox family lives. The kids are nice and safe in there. Kid like a kid person? No, kid, K-I-T. That's a baby fox. Well, I don't know if babies can dig. You're right, Zob. That's something they have to learn. Oh, I helped someone learn how to dig once. The noggin drill. <laughs> I remember the rest of my story now. I was leaping along when I bumped into noggin drill. <laughs> I said, hello, noggin drill. Ow! <laughs> noggin drill said... Oh, Zabu, have you seen any holes that I can live in? Hmm, well, there's a hole. Maybe you can live there. Oh, this hole's already taken, Zabu. Wiggy Waxwing lives here. Every hole I find already has someone living in it. But then I had an idea. You can dig your own hole, Noggin Drill. Just use your head. Use my head. Okay. How's your hole, Noggin Drill? It's perfect. Come on in and see my new home, Zabu. So I did. Ouch! Oh, sorry. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zobster. Yeah, yeah, I love stories. Remember that sound? It's the flying squirrel. And it sounds like there's more than one. Yeah, she must have moved her whole family into her new home sweet hole. It's the flying squirrel in her home. Welcome hole. You know what I loved about today? When the flying squirrel was crawling all over us. Oh, that was my favorite part, too. I liked when the prairie dogs kept popping up behind us. Oh, that was my favorite part, too. And digging with the foxes. Hey, Sabu, how could you have three favorite parts? Well, I guess everything was my favorite part. It was all great. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose, who is climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal. Who dig holes are amazing. You never know. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Keep looking for animal holes. And remember, if you see a hole, it just might be an animal's home. Hi, my name's Nigel, and this is my pet worm, my Slinky. In the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma Come along and see what's new. To see animal jumps is the place to be. Elephants charging, baboons are leaping, wild dogs running and nobody's sleeping. Me and you and Sabuma Foo, come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. Me and you and Sabuma Foo, come along.
Not till February 2nd. But wait, we have to call Zabu first. Like a lemur? Like the largest. And the loudest. Lemur in the world. The Indri. Zabu! 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 Hey, Zabu! Whoa, look at him go! That lemur is really leaping today. Wow! I can hardly keep up with him. It's up, wait up! I know how to catch up with Sabu with a snack. Grapes. He's gonna love these. There you go. How you doing? Grapes are great. Mm. Vuki. <laughs> hey, where's Indri? Oh, there's no Indri here. Hmm? We were just making the call of the Indri. Wow, you're good. Let me see you make the Indri sound. <laughs> I see it. That's a good Indri sound. Indri is the loudest lemur. <gasps> Lemurs are headed this way, and I know who they are. I can't believe my mind. This time, I know, because I'm a lemur. <laughs> well, what kind of lemurs, huh? Tell us. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, tell us. Hmm. Sob, you have to give us more to go on. Mm -mm. There are about 23 different kinds of lemurs. That is a lot of lemurs. And they all have different looks. And do special things. And make incredible sounds. There are so many leaping lemurs. So which one's headed this way? I'm not gonna tell you. What? What? Well, he's not gonna tell them. Crank Brothers will guess. And you can guess. Guess the lemur. It's a lemur. But what kind? Lemur, lemur, lemur. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? On her lemur behind, there was a long, stripy tail with rings on it. Did you guess who yet? <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. <laughs> then she made a sound and called her baby. Who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? They're a whole family of stripy-tailed lemurs. Do you know who they are? All right. A baby riding on her back. Rings on their tails. <laughs> Ring-tailed lemurs! Yeah. Uh, uh, mystery animals here. Yeah. yeah. Hey! Oh, look! And there's the mom and baby. Yeah, that's right. Lemurs like me. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how they got their name, Ringtail Lemur. Yeah, they have rings on their tails. Like candy canes. Hey, you know, Chris, we really have to take these decorations down sometime. Christmas is long over. I'd love to lift a Christmas tree, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. At least 20, huh? It's a lot of rings. <laughs> <laughs> lemur, lemur. <laughs> That was a great job. Whoa. Oh, that's you making all that noise. You hear the sound the baby's making? Hey! <laughs> yeah, I found some raisins. You want one? Oh, yeah. Lemurs like raisins. Wow. Wow. What a great lemur. Look at that baby's little lemur face. It kind of looks like a Halloween mask. You know Halloween. That's when you get dressed up in costumes and go trick-or-treating. Yeah. Oh, am I a Halloween creature or am I a lemur? Oh. 
Wow, there's a lot to look at, isn't there, in here for a little guy like you, huh? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Great job. <laughs> this baby lemur's checking everything out. Every lemur needs a name, so let's see. What can we call you? Well, you're little, that's for sure. And you're a lemur, just like me, and you love to leap, because all lemurs love to leap. Let's call you Little Leaper. What do you think? Huh? I think that's a great name. Oh, thanks. Hey, Little Leaper. Hey, Chris, I'm just gonna call him Little Leaper. Uh -huh. Little Leaper. Little Leaper is just getting used to jumping around. Whoa, nice one. You see that? That's a big jump for a little creature like him. Come on, climb aboard. All right, good job. Ooh, wow. You have a strong grip. Hey, <laughs> it tickles too. Go on and see Chris. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> He's still not too steady, but this is how a little creature learns. They jump around, they might take a little tumble, but he's doing pretty good. Hey, little leaper. Hey. <laughs> Did you know that a baby lemur hangs onto the fur of his mom's back almost all day long? Oh, I know that because I'm a lemur, a yeah, uh, snow lemur, yeah, yeah. And you know what else I know? Uh, since it's a lemur, yeah. No, <laughs> yes. really think uh -huh. I could be a leaping lemur? Whoa. Their names are Ring, and Tail, and Little Leaper. And we're all from Madagascar. That's how I know them. Hey, wait a minute. What are those things on your heads? You look like crown lemurs. <laughs> I mean these hats? Hats. Hats? Why are they on your heads? My hair is kind of messy, Zabu. Yeah, so's mine. Neither one of us could find a brush or a comb this morning. Messy hair? Let me see. All right. <laughs> Your hair is crazy! I know, we look like porcupines. <laughs> porcupines. <laughs> the Crack Brothers have porcupine hair. Porcupine hair. Their hair is very messy, it stands straight up in the air. Porcupine hair! <laughs> very funny stuff. <laughs> you know what I think's funny? What? Most people don't know what a lemur is. People don't know lemurs? Nope. Everybody knows lemurs. Oh, what's a lemur? No, oh, maybe I'm a lemur. Oh, I sure leap like one. Oh, oh, oh. What can we do to tell people about lemurs? They don't know us. Yeah, it's kind of like you don't know what a hat is. Huh? I know what a hat is. Uh huh. A hat goes on your head. You're right, Zab. A hat does go on your head. Only one problem. What? That's not a hat. <laughs> it's not? Nope, Zab. Hmm? It's a cup. Cup? Yeah, you drink out of it. Hmm? Hmm. Well, I drink mostly from leaves. No cups for me. Okay, so what makes a lemur a lemur? How about this one, Chris? All lemurs come from... Madagascar! Yeah. Yeah, Ring and Tail and I are from Madagascar. That's where I grew up. And that's where I live with my family of lemurs. I'm a kind of a lemur called a sapaka. Oh, that's me on my mom's back. We like to hang upside down and play, too. And she gives me lemur back rides. That's a fun way to leap. All kinds of lemurs love lemur back rides. Boy, it's Little Leaper's favorite thing to do. Uh -huh. Look how tight she clings on. You have to, in case Mom jumps. Hey, Chris, you ever tried jumping with a friend on your back? <laughs> Come on, let's jump with friends on our backs. <laughs> <laughs> Those crazy Krat brothers. Go, Krats, go. They're trying to be like you. <laughs> you Krat brothers give pretty good lemur back rides. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> they need a little more practice. A rough lemur. Monk, Zika. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> a rough lemur. And he has something to show us. Another thing that makes a lemur a lemur. Okay, open your mouth and show him your tooth comb. Tooth comb? Yeah, tooth comb. Tooth comb. See those four little teeth? That's a tooth comb. Wow. These four teeth make the tooth comb. And lemurs use their tooth combs to take care of each other. See, red ruffed lemurs live in groups. 
Yep, a lot of lemurs live in groups. Right, and every now and then, two lemurs get together and tooth comb each other. That keeps them clean. It feels good, too. Lemurs have a natural comb in their mouths. Lemurs are great. People have to know about lemurs. So how do we fix the problem of the world not knowing about lemurs? We have to figure something out. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's my oh, tooth yeah, comb. I see yeah, it. Yeah. That's my tooth comb. <laughs> hey, speaking of tooth combs, what? maybe that's the answer to our other little problem. What other little problem? This problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, that problem. Whoa, that's very messy hair. It's a good thing there are three lemurs here with tooth combs. <laughs> Ready? Uh... Those tooth combs really work. <laughs> there. Great job. <laughs> you lemurs sure know how to comb hair. Thanks, Chris. That's why your fur is so soft. Feel. Yeah, your fur is really <laughs> soft. That's because lemurs take such good care of it. Yeah, and we tooth comb to show other lemurs that we're all friends. Okay, Martin, you're next. Take off your hat. Okay, you asked for it. Okay, lemurs, it's tooth comb time. Amazing. Imagine if your lower teeth were like a comb. You wouldn't need a brush, and you could brush your friend's hair like lemurs can. All done. I feel like a new lemur. Mm. I feel so good, I feel like leaping. <laughs> Let's leap like lemurs. You want to? <laughs> Feeling lemurish. I'm not different, still the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's just one thing I always do. I feel lemurish. How about you? Lemurish. Woo! I feel lemurish. Lemurish. Wow. I'm a leaping lemur, I'm from Madagascar! Let's leap like lemurs! You can do it! Woo! Lemurish! Whoa! I feel lemurish! Lemurish! Whoa. I'm no monkey, I'm a little lemur! Woo! Woo! Lemurish! All this leaping reminds me of Sensit in, uh, in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped it, this sense it. No, no. <laughs> Sabu, I'm sad. <laughs> Why sense it? Because I don't know what kind of a creature I am. Gee, sense it. I thought you were a lemur. Uh -huh. Me? A lemur? Oh, well, I do have grabby hands. That's right. And you have big, big eyes, too. And a nose that can really smell. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I smell real good. And you have amazing ears. Oh, that's right, that's right. And I love leaping. Oh, let's leap together. So us two lemurs whoa, spent the rest of the day leaping around Zaboom! And we had fun! <laughs> Lemur fun. Then Leaping lemurs are great. We we have to figure out a way to tell people about lemurs. Hey, what are they up to now? <laughs> they turned it on. Hey, that's us when we were kids. And our dog, Heidi. Oh, yeah, Mom made a cake for Heidi. Wow, what was it made of? Dog food. Heidi got to eat a birthday cake made of dog food. Yeah, that was some cake. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, we all had a great time at Heidi's birthday party. And you thinking what I'm thinking, brother of mine? Oh, yeah. Do you know what we're thinking? <laughs> I want a party for me, because I'm a lemur. <laughs> Hold that thought. Thought? What thought? This thought, hmm? over here. Come on. As a way to let all people in the world know about lemurs, we are officially declaring today an international creature holiday. Today is Lemur Day. So, happy lemur day! Have a look at this. Happy lemur day. Is this for us? Yeah, it's your lemur day present. Why don't you open it? Hmm, okay. While we spread the word about <laughs> lemur day. We'll be right back. Let's see, how do we open this? You guys go first. <laughs> oh, this is great. Hey, this is great, huh, guys? Manga Zika. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, hey, there's stuff here for all of us. Fruit. Wow. 
What a great Lemur Day present. That's a brand new holiday! All right! Woo! Today is Lemur Day! Happy Lemur Day! All right, see you next year. Yay, it's Lemur Day! Okay, well, it's official. It's Lemur Day. And it feels great. How do you guys feel? Oh, we're vooky, and we're hanging out, because that's what lemurs do. It feels good. How's the little leaper been doing, Zob? Good. You like your name? Yeah? <laughs> well, I guess it's time for them to go. Bye, Ring. Bye, Tail. Bye, Little Leaper. Goodbye, lemurs. And hello. Incoming. Duck! <laughs> <laughs> He's not a duck. He's Moonface. <laughs> He's a barn owl. Hmm. A message from Jackie. Let's see what she's doing now. Hi, guys. Jackie here, and you won't believe what happened today. I was walking home when I saw two turtles. The turtles were walking straight through the road. They wanted to cross it, but there were so many cars on the road. One was a water turtle, the other was a land turtle. Was I gonna let those turtles get hurt by a car? I don't think so. It was too dangerous. So I took these turtles and let them go in safe places. I let the land turtle go in the woods where he likes to live. I let the water turtle go in a pond where she likes to live. The land turtle ate a blueberry and he was happy. The water turtle ate some grass and she was happy too. That's what I did today to help my animal friends. See you later. Oh, and by the way, happy lemur day. Thanks, Jackie. Word gets around. Yeah, but we forgot one thing. We have to let lemurs know it's lemur day. And besides, we have a lot more lemurs to see. You're right, Chris. So let's go on a trip and find as many lemurs as we can. And wish them happy, happy lemur, lemur day. day. Come on. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> hey, tooth combs. We better take these. Say hi to the lemurs and hurry back. Because I've got a Lemur Day surprise for you. Two more super duper visitors. All right, Zob. They're going on a we'll cool be back before the sand runs out. The See you later, Zob. In the closet and they're headed out the door. Did you hear that? Yeah. There must be a lemur around here somewhere. And that's the sound of a bamboo lemur. There he is. That's the sound of a bamboo lemur. Happy lemur day. Happy lemur day. Did you hear that? Those sound like pigs, right? But they're not. Those are ground lemurs. You enjoying the holiday? She's called a crown lemur because of that orange crown on her head. Happy lemur day. Happy lemur day. Hey, we still have some time left. Maybe we can find some more lemurs. What was that? What a sound. Yeah, it's made my hair stand on end. It sounds scary. Like a monster? Lemurs. Ruffed lemurs are one of the loudest lemurs in the world. So now that we know the lemur who's making the sound, we're not scared anymore. And it's time for our tooth comb. I'm glad we brought these. Yeah, no one should be without a tooth comb. Happy lemur day. Happy lemur day. Yikes, time is almost up. Remember, we told Zabu we'd be back to meet his super duper special visitors. Hey, let's get back to Animal Junction the way all lemurs get around, by leaping. Leap like a lemur. 
Happy Labor Day! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Yeah, and right on time. All right, so let's see who those super duper special surprise visitors oh, are. Well, you want some of these? Here. Wait a minute, I don't believe it. Do you see what I see? There, there are, are three, three Zabus. Zabus. One Zabu, two Zabu, three Zabu. How, How can, can there, there be, be three, three Zabus? Zabus? <laughs> they think there are three of me. <laughs> there aren't three Zabus, there's only one. The other two are my mom and dad. Wow, Zabu, your mom and dad came to visit. This is great. Yep. Pratt Brothers, I'd like you to meet my mom. You know, you can call her Zabu's mom. And my dad? Well, you can call him Zabu's dad. <laughs> nice to meet you, Zabu's mom. And you too, Zabu's dad. I wonder what they're saying. They want a snack, but they don't burp. I'll get them something great. <laughs> More surprises! I like being a lemur. Wow! Hey, to celebrate Lemur Day, I want to take a family picture of you lemurs. I'll be right back with the camera. You have Phil Martin? Happy Lemur Day to you. Happy Lemur Day to you. Have a happy Lemur Day. Hope your day's spooky bay. Have a happy Lemur Day to you. That looks really yummy. Have a happy Lemur Day. This is gonna make a great picture. Say grapes. Grapes! I think I'm gonna have a taste of this cake. A sweet potato lemur. How is it, Martin? Yum. Garbanzo bean icing. Mmm, good. This is a great way to tell people about lemurs, like the great snow lemur. Yeah! <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bounced into Sense It. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, happy Lemur Day, Sense It. Oh, Sabo, I finally found you. Where's Snow Lemur? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> well, we have to find him. It's Lemur Day. No, I, well, he lives on top of Mount Zabufu, but I can't go up there. <laughs> oh, no, it's too cold. <laughs> well, don't worry. You don't have to go up there. Huh? Hello. Oh, no. hey. oh, oh, Snow Lemur, it's you. <laughs> happy Lemur Day. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sensei, and uh, happy Lemur Day, fellow lemurs. Yeah, uh, Lemur Day is my favorite day, but I don't know how to celebrate. Well, hang on. I have it all figured out. Ta-da! A oh. Lemur Day cake. Oh. Let's dance on it, and then we can eat it later. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, Sabu, this is the best. Yeah. Happy, Happy Lemur, Lemur Day, Day to you. you. Yeah. No. Happy, Happy Lemur, Lemur Day, Day, Day to you. A snow lemur? I don't even think they get snow in Madagascar. Happy lemur day! But we do know what makes a lemur a lemur. So, if you ever meet anybody from Madagascar... Like me. Who likes to leap around. Like me. Who brushes his hair with a tooth comb. <laughs> like me. Then you know that creature is... A, a lemur. lemur. Like me. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. We have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! See you, Zabu. Bye, Mom. Zabu's mom. Bye, Zabu's dad. And we'll see you next time at Animal Junction. But for now, have, have a happy, happy Lemur Day. Happy Lemur Day. Hope your day is spooky bay. Have a happy Lemur Day.
Hi, my name is Jasmine. This is my dog, Lucy.